Alright, what is going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. So today's video, we're going to be taking a first look at the new finesse fillet tubes from LMAB. Brand new bait, got released approximately two weeks ago now. Wanted to do a bit of fishing before I made this video, so I've had quite a few sessions with, with these. Got quite a lot of fish, so I've got two fishing videos coming up with these very soon. And I've got some decent fish in one of those videos as well. So yeah, keep an eye out for those. But first, this video, we're going to be talking about these baits. We're going to go over how to rig them and uh, how to present them. And then I'll chuck a couple of clips in at the end. First, a little bit of an announcement. And that is that LMAB, the full range of products, will be on show at Glasgow Angling Centre uh, Open Weekend this weekend. I think it's the 22nd till the 25th of September. So that's at 9 o'clock this Friday coming up. So if you want to check out the products, see these in person, see the other products, give the rods, give the lures a test in the test tank, head up to Glasgow Angling Centre. I'm pretty sure it's free entry. Check out all the LMAB stuff, meet a few cool people. I think Ryan Dabbs will be running the stand, who's very knowledgeable about the products, very knowledgeable about fishing in general. So if you've got any questions, he'll be there to answer them all, give you a few pointers and things like that. So yeah, Glasgow Angling Centre this weekend. Come check out the products, all the range, like I said, all the rods, all the lures, all the terminal tackle, everything that you might want to see is going to be there. So yeah, make sure you check them out. But right now, we're going to get into these. So, finesse fillet tube. It's quite a unique bait. Now a tube generally is a hollow, same profile as this, but they are hollow. Um, but these ones, hopefully you can see that, the camera's being a bit weird, we've got a new one coming, but these ones are not hollow. Now, what that means is you can't, like other tubes, you can hide your jig head inside the tube. Um, with these, you can't do that. But with them being TPE, gives them a little bit more buoyancy so you get a better stand up like this. You still get the same action from the tentacles as you would other tubes. But these will stand up a little bit better because they've got more of a floating body on them, if that makes sense to you. So. Like I say, I've caught a lot of fish on these. Fish them a few different ways, and I'm gonna like explain a few ways to rig them. Obviously, the most basic way would be on a normal Ned head. Um, I lost all mine, so I'm not gonna be able to show you, but I can show you on a normal jig head. Uh, this is size one. Just rig it as you would a normal TRD, like a Z-Man TRD, something like that. Boom, straight on. Yeah, I like the hook to come out just where the tentacles are, like that. I find that to be the sweet spot for the hook. Get a way better hook up ratio, doesn't impede the action of these, and presentation is money like that. Like I say, these stand up on the bottom, so you're fishing them slow on the bottom like this, that'll be stood up. Tentacles will be flapping a little bit in the flow, or just from you twitching the rod tip a little bit, getting those fish enticed in and boom. These do catch a lot of fish. I was a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit skeptical about how well they'd work, but after the session I had yesterday with these, I must have caught 50, 60 perch, just trickling them down the river on the bottom, and yeah, <laughs> they work really well. So normal jig head, or a Ned rig head if you've got them. I, I, I'm quite poor, so I tend not to buy them and just use normal jig heads. That's the first way you can rig them. You can also, which is, was my preferred way of fishing them, to be fair. And that is fish them weedless. I like to fish them on a Texas rig. Obviously, you can use the same hook, but fish them on a Carolina rig, Jika rig, Cheb rig, if that's your preferred, you know. Obviously, different situations, different rigs, basically. Or, you know, personal preference. Like I say, my personal preference is the Texas. Let's get another one of these out. So... Size two offset hook. Just put my little bag of baits down. Nip that through. I hardly put that through any material at the front there. Just enough. And then this size two comes out right where the tentacles are. So I'll not hook it through all the bait. I'll pass it through the tentacles and just nip it just in the top like so. So the hook is only in the tiniest bit of material right there. Um, but the hook up rate on these was absolutely incredible yesterday. I caught, I landed most of the fish that I hooked. 
obviously it's quite a small hook and it's quite a deep body bait but because we're only nipping it through a tiny bit of material there you do get a decent hook exposure you do land most of the fish you've got to let the bites develop a little bit as you would normally with a weedless rig um, but yeah super stealthy presentation especially if you've got this on a Texas rig you know there's barely anything on that that makes it suspicious to a perch you know smaller hook than you'd normally use on like a normal TRD or something like that and yeah money this was my favorite rig like I say Texas rig but you can cheb it jeeker it Carolina um, any other weedless rig that you can think of <laughs> But yeah, size two or size one. Experiment with a few sizes. It works with both sizes. Um, I say you just need to nip it through a tiny bit of material at the back there, and you are good to go. As you can see, you know, it'll roll down the hook super nice when you hook a fish. Getting them hooked real well. Um, yeah, like I say, that's my other favourite. Well, that is my favourite way to rig them on the Texas rig. Weedless. That's probably what I'll fish a ton this winter. Uh, I had, I think I've had three 40 centimeter perch on these already. So I'm expecting some big fish in the winter. Um, another way you can rig them, which you might not expect, but it's the drop shot rig. And I, everyone knows what a drop shot looks like, so I'm not going to show you right now. Um, but yeah, drop shot these with the tentacles flapping. You get a nice presentation on a drop shot. It's a floating bait, so it'll come up in the water a little bit like this, stand up a little bit technicals will be flapping when you twitch that rod and yeah drives them mad you get a lot of fish doing that i'm not a big fan of drop shot i find it quite boring but if you are a fan of drop shot give those a try you've got four colors they are five centimeters come in packs of eight packs of six sorry not packs of eight got that classic sardine box design all scented strong seafood scent which is quite you know a lot of floating baits do not have that strong scent makes a difference especially in winter in my opinion anyway um pithylate free so no chemicals and tpa super stretchy super strong and floating awesome bait like i said i'm going to put a couple of clips from some perch in at the end now but two videos come in with these filmed one of them i do catch some really nice fish so yeah keep your eyes out for that make sure you head up to glasgow and center to check out them in person try them out in the low tank there feel how stretchy they are give them a sniff if you want to they do smell very strong and uh yeah this weekend glasgow Angling center that's going to do it for me talking i've probably gone way too long but we're going to roll some fishing clips now that i had spare i hope you guys enjoy those make sure you keep an eye out for the other videos that i've done with these and yeah catch you next time There we go. Oh, straight on it then. It's only a small one, but boom. Took that instantly. Freaking nailed it as well. Let's put this in the net real quick. In fact, the reason I'll retain them sometimes is just putting them back. And they'll just go straight back to where they came from. Sometimes it can spook the other fish if there's a few more there. So I'll cast straight back over there. It's only really shallow. That was a good bite then. Oh. I hope you saw that rod tip bang then when that hit. Proper textbook. Bottom fishing bite. Nailed it. Slightly bigger fish. Beautiful stripes on that as well. Look at the colours. Beauty. On the tube. Oh, that's a beautiful looking fish that. Beauty. Get that back. See you baby. Let's go catch some more now.